So how much do you need to live in Abu Dhabi? The more you have, the higher the rent will be. It is a tax-free country. Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to try to provide you with all the answers to the key questions you may have in mind if you're contemplating moving to Abu Dhabi. This should hopefully help you to build your budget and to know how much you really need to plan before making the big move. So how much do you need to live in Abu Dhabi? This question is tricky as it's all based on different criteria, and the answer will depend on your lifestyle, the area you decide to settle in, how many of you in the household and many other factors to take into consideration. But don't worry, I'm going to give you some figures so you can get an idea based on your personal situation. We will go through each key expenditure you can think about if you decide to relocate to Abu Dhabi. Be aware that Abu Dhabi has the highest GDP per capita in all the UAE, thus ahead of Dubai. This is mainly due to its large oil and gas reserves. But not only that, the government has massively invested in diverse areas such as the financial sector, entrepreneurship hub, tourism and infrastructures. It is safe to say that Abu Dhabi is in general a quite expensive city to live in. On the good side, it is a tax-free country, putting aside the 5% VAT on the goods and services you consume here. But this also means that you don't contribute to any pension nor national insurance scheme, so you have to plan and manage your finances accordingly. Most probably, your main expense will be your accommodation, unless you're part of the lucky ones where your employer covers it. In Abu Dhabi, the rents are quite high and landlords will ask for one year rent payment upon signing your lease. However, you will often be able to give up to four checks that covers the overall rent all the year based on an agreed installment plan. It's also part of the negotiation. If you're able to pay the full year upfront, you can manage to negotiate a better rental price. Upon signing your lease, you will also need to pay a 5% deposit of the annual rental value based on your needs and what you can afford. You have access to any type of property from a shared flat to a villa with pool. Majority of the properties are non-furnished. Full furnished property are quite uncommon. For the same property and size, rent price varies depending on the area, the amenities, etc. To give you an idea, if you are looking for an apartment within the expat places and communities, a one-bedroom apartment can go from 60 to 100k dirhams a year. And a three-bedroom apartment will go from 110k to 220k dirhams a year. Bear in mind that all the residence amenities are included in the rent, depending on what the residents can offer, but usually most of them are at least a pool and a gym. Some can also offer tennis courts, squash courts, basketball courts, and even some sometimes access to a private beach, but obviously the more you have, the higher the rent will be. These are average prices for areas such as Arim, Yas Island or Saadiyat. You can find cheaper rents in suburban areas such as Arif, where you'll find modern and spacious one bedroom starting from 45k to 50k dirhams a year. In Cornish area, you can find three bedroom apartments starting from 90k dirhams a year, but those will be in older buildings that sometimes don't offer a pool or a gym. For your research, the most reliable websites are Property Finder, Bayut. As for furnishing your apartment, it will really depend on your taste and budget. You can find a lot of secondhand on social media like Facebook, on the expat groups or on Dubizzle. But if you wish to buy new, you'll have many different options. One of the cheapest will probably be IKEA and other similar price range and style local store. 
your water and electricity bill will obviously be in line with your consumption and the size of your apartment. In Abu Dhabi, the authority that deals with it is ADDC. You will have to leave a deposit of 1,000 dirhams to open your account. And then for expats, the price of one kilowatt hour is about 28 fields and one cubic meter of water is eight to 10 dirhams. As for the AC, unlike what people may think, we don't live 24 seven with the AC on. Buildings insulation are quite good. Windows are tinted. So you generally depend on the AC only during the summer months. Again, it's quite hard to give you an estimation of your bill as it's all related to your use, the size of your housing, the exposure, and how well it's insulated. Also, sometimes the AC may be included in your rent, but if not, you can estimate circa 30 dirhams per month during the winter month where the AC is not running and around 400 dirhams a month for the summer month for a moderate use. Other bills to take into consideration are the municipality fees. This is a tax from the Department of Municipality and Transport, which you generally pay monthly with your ADDC bill and it is worth 5% of your rent. You also have to think about your home broadband and your phone plan. It is quite expensive here and you don't have many providers. Etisalat, Do and Virgin are the only three providers you can go to. The only phone plan that offers unlimited calls to your country of origin is currently with Etisalat and it will cost you 325 dirhams a month. But for a regular phone plan with OK data, you can count approximately 120 dirhams a month. Bear in mind that most of the apps like WhatsApp or Facebook are restricted for calls. That's why having the international calls within your plan can sometimes be useful. For the home broadband plans, it will start around 200 dirhams a month. Public transport are quite cheap in Abu Dhabi, but they're not very developed, especially if you compare to Dubai. There is no metro yet, so you will have to rely on the buses. If you live and work downtown, it is fairly easy and cheap to use the bus. A ticket will cost you two dirhams, but if you live far from the center, like in Yas or Saadia Island, it will be more tricky to use the bus network. There are not many bus lines and they're way less frequent. Sometimes they will only run every two hours. So in that case, it may be more convenient to use taxi or your own car. Taxis are quite cheap. They're really easy to find in the city or you can use the Abu Dhabi taxi app to book it. Fees are approximately 30 dirhams for 10K. You can also use Uber or Karim, which is a local competitor of Uber, but they are generally more expensive. The other alternative is to have your own car. You can either buy or rent. Rentals start around 2,000 dirhams a month for a small car. And if you decide to buy your own car you'll find all sorts of prices depending if you want to buy brand new or second hand depending on the state of the car the mileage etc you can find any type of car for all budgets keep in mind that if you go through a car loan the bank will usually ask you for a 10 to 20 percent deposit and one of the benefits here is obviously that petrol is quite cheap at the time of this video a liter is 3.30 dirhams one more expense to know about is the total gates. If you use your personal car, you will have to pay the toll fee worth 5 dirhams each time you go through the gates at peak hours only. And these are generally located on the motorways. So it's still a small budget to take into consideration if you do round trips every day. For your groceries, you'll have many options from the affordable stores like Lulu, Coop or Carrefour to the more premium ones like Waitrose or Spinney's. In terms of prices, it is quite comparable to prices in Europe to the exception of certain imported brands where prices can be like double, triple or even more. The main difference in supermarkets here compared to Europe is that you won't find any non-halal products and no alcohol. Some supermarkets do have a hidden room where you can find some non-halal product but for the alcohol you will have to go to complete different store that are usually well hidden and be aware that prices might be more expensive than what you're used to pay especially for the wine you also find smaller local supermarkets in each district as the little corner shops called bakala but prices there are higher than in supermarkets 
if you have children, you will need to allocate a pot of money in your budget for them. Nurseries and schools are quite expensive in Abu Dhabi. For example, the kindergarten fee in a good French school is 29,000 dirhams a year. And in a good British or American school is often double that. As your children grow, the tuition fees grow as well. For example, the top British school fees in Abu Dhabi are for year two to four, 78,000 dirhams a year, for year five to nine, 83,000 dirhams a year, and for year 10 to 13, 100,000 dirhams a year. You also need to keep in mind that school days finish early in the afternoon. So for the younger children, you will need to think about having a nanny. The most common option here is to hire a full-time nanny that you can either sponsor under your visa or hire through an agency, but it will cost more. The nanny will generally help you with the household when your children are in school, but it all depends on your agreement with her. Nannies can be living or live out. If you opt for the living option, it means that she lives at your place, room and full board, so her salary will be lower than if she's live out, where you have to cover for all of her expenses, including the rent. The salary will be based on her experience and also her nationality. For a living nanny, the very minimum salary will start from 1,500 dirhams a month. And for the leave out nanny, minimum 2,500 dirhams a month. And if you don't have children, you can still hire a maid for the same range of prices. Leisure activities are another budget to consider. I'll give you some figures so you can get an idea, but the list is obviously non-exhaustive. If you want to go shopping, you will find many malls around the city. They are huge and have the majority of all the well-known brands, but prices are generally higher. For example, European brands such as Zara or H&M are generally 30% higher than prices in France or the UK, for example. Fortunately, it's not the case for all of the brands. In Abu Dhabi, a movie ticket will cost you between 45 to 60 dirhams, depending on what seat you choose. For restaurants, you have many options options in Abu Dhabi. Restaurant chains and well-known fast foods have prices similar to Europe. If you go to the expat areas, restaurants can become pricey and even more if you're ordering alcohol. A bottle of wine usually starts at 200 dirhams for the cheapest one. Brunches here are really famous on weekends. Most of the time they take place in luxury hotels and they are huge all-you-can-eat buffets with all types of food including the finest food. Prices for the non-alcoholic pack usually goes around 185 to 280 dirhams and the unlimited house drink pack goes from 280 to 400 dirhams. Abu Dhabi is well known for its unique amusement park. Some of them are the largest in the world. They're all located on Yas Island. Tickets may be pricey. A day pass starts from 345 dirhams per adult and 265 for kids. Tickets to the Louvre Museum will cost you 63 dirhams for an adult and 31.5 dirhams for a kid. Most of the beach in Abu Dhabi, even public, are not free. For the Cornish one, you'll have to spend 10 dirhams to enter for the full day and if you choose to go to the beautiful beaches in Sadiat, it will cost you up to 80 dirhams per day. I'm not going to talk about holiday budgets because it's specific to everyone but just be aware that the UAE is a great hub to fly to lovely destinations that you wouldn't do from Europe or America because it's too far. Also I would recommend to allow at least one return ticket to your home country for your whole household per year. If you are employed in the UAE, your employer will cover the cost of health insurance for you. Some employer may also cover the cost for your family visa and health insurance. But be aware that if you have your own business, you will have to subscribe to a health insurance of your choice at your own cost, as it is mandatory to have healthcare here. Health insurance for yourself as a business owner, prices will start from 2,500 dirhams a year. And if you are bringing your family along, then you will have to spend a minimum of 3,000 dirhams per year per child, and minimum 2,000 dirhams per year for your husband, or about eight thousand dirhams for your wife. It is more expensive for women as it takes into consideration possible pregnancy and birth costs. That's it guys. I hope I gave you a good overview of potential costs 
fees and expenses you can expect and I hope this video will help you to put your budget together for your move to Abu Dhabi. Any topic you wish to go into more details, please leave a comment below. I will be happy to respond or dedicate a full video on any key subject. Please share this video, smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. This will help me a lot to produce more content like this. Thank you for watching.